to show you how I made these photo blocks. These were really, really fun to make and they make such a beautiful personalized gift or decoration. I did film this tutorial a little bit different, so you will have to let me know if you like it this way or if you prefer that I film it the way that I normally do. I made these photo blocks for my sister-in-law Carly's bridal shower and for her wedding dinner. I love how they turned out. I just put a picture on the front, some beautiful scrap paper on the back, and glitter on the sides, and this is how I did it. The supplies you're going to need are wood blocks. Mine are about four and a half by four and a half inches. I got them at Michael's. Scrapbooking paper, cut to the size of your blocks. Pictures, print or cut them to the size of your blocks. Mine are a bit smaller, they're four by four. Sandpaper, Mod Podge and a sponge brush or paintbrush. And glitter, those are the supplies you'll need for your photo blocks. Oh, and Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> We're starting by sanding all of the rough corners and uneven spots. Look who I found on my block, cute. Next I'm going to Mod Podge the scrap paper onto the back of the blocks. Put a coat of Mod Podge all over the back of the block. Be sure to get it on the edges and corners. Once it's covered, place the paper onto the block. Press it down, make sure to press down firmly on all of the edges and corners. Then set aside to dry. Now we're adding our photos. Like I said, my photo is a little smaller, but I wanted to see some of the wood. Since it is smaller, I'm applying the Mod Podge to the back of the photo. Hi Winston! Again, be sure to get it on the corners and edges. Place the photo on the block. Try to get it centered. You can measure and mark your block so it's perfectly centered. Then press down firmly. How cute is this picture? Winston loves it but thinks it needs a little glitter. <laughs> All of our blocks are finished. This block is shaped a little different so I added scrap paper to the top and bottom and cut the picture down a little. Next, I'm sanding off any of the scrap paper or Mod Podge that might be hanging over the edge. Time for the fun part, glitter! You'll also need Mod Podge and a paper plate to catch the extra glitter. Apply a generous coat of Mod Podge to all three sides. Don't put any on the bottom. For the first coat of glitter, I applied it like this by sprinkling it on, but I found a much faster way and I will show you in a second. I let the first coat dry overnight, now it's time for the second coat. Again, apply a generous coat of Mod Podge, but this time dab it on instead of brushing it on so that you don't remove any of the extra glitter. This time I'm dipping the sides into the glitter on the plate, it's so much faster. Then set aside to dry. Once your second coat of glitter is dry, apply another generous coat of Mod Podge only and let that dry. For these blocks, I applied a thin line of Mod Podge to the front and sprinkled a little glitter on. I hope you were able to follow along with that tutorial. I had so much fun making these and I really just love how they turned out. They looked beautiful at the bridal shower. You don't have to add a photo to these blocks. You can also do what I did here. I thought that these would be a lot of fun for the holidays. And I just took scrap paper and Mod Podge that on, put a layer of Mod Podge on the front and then added some glitter. And of course, more glitter to the sides. This is really fun and I think I'll be making many, many more of these. I also think that this is a perfect holiday gift if you're wondering what to get. That person who has everything, I think personal gifts like this are always just the best and so thoughtful. So let me know if you make any of these. I would love to see pictures on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.